everybody welcome back to my channel aliyah here and you are walking with the walkers as you can tell i am very excited legs 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 i'm going to be talking about hamstrings and quads i'm going to be showing you guys my very back to basics form on just how i squat how i lunge how i deep thrust and as always we're going to have some tips throughout the video on just how to get your best full range of motion so without any further ado let's get into the video we're going to be talking about deadlifts first so yeah i'm showing you guys here that your core your stomach area really does have everything to do with your form when you're doing deadlifts you know so you want to have a strong core not a weak one so tighten it up hold it tight and you know pull in through your heels and through your glutes you know not your back because then you risk the chance of injuring your back when that's not even the muscle you're working out the area you're working out okay so moving on to hamstrings again and we are going to be doing hip thrusts i'm going to be showing you guys two different variations one leg and then i'm going to show you guys a modification of two legs so doing hip thrusts is a bit of an interesting move <laughs> But what I like to do is to find my balance through my upper back and my arms. You know, that's really where you're going to be balancing from. You're pushing up through your heel, but you're balancing on your back and you're balancing on your arms. So, yeah, you really want to come with some force behind your thrust and to keep your arms flat down and to make sure you're just coming up onto your shoulder blades a little bit. deadlifts and as y'all can see your girl your legs are gonna be shaking you know what I'm saying my legs are shaking and it's not about how it looks it's not about you know it being pretty but it's about the work you put in the knee is still behind the toe she might not be all the way balanced but she's putting in the work <laughs> and you can tell you can see and the key a tip to <laughs> falling over it's okay the key and the tip to this point is keep going keep going after it and work until you're satisfied baby you know and i was pretty satisfied here <laughs> Okay, you guys, so let's make our transition to our quads and we are doing a very basic deep squat and I encourage you to get into it. Please get into this deep squat, <laughs> make it deep, make it good, feel it, keep the core tight and squeeze at the top, baby, and feel it. Just get into it. Just open your hips up and accept this deep squat into your life. <laughs> to the lunge the infamous lunge keep the knee behind the toe so my tip is to just worry about the knee and the toe first get down get down to this position and make sure and look at your leg look at your knee look at your toe and make sure it's behind however it feels comfortable to lift up at that point 
then that's when you lift. Whether you use a chair, whether you use a wall, it doesn't matter as long as the knee is behind the toe. finisher last but not least our very basic squat basic basic squat um, your feet are not too you know shoulder width apart you know they're not too straightforward but they're also not super wide like the deep squat was you know just a little bit out and that's about it it's real basic and you squat down <laughs> come back up and you squeeze at the top I thank y'all for watching I hope this was helpful and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.